A son will soon face homicide charges for the deaths of his parents weeks after he reported them missing to police. Multiple tornadoes moved through Wisconsin this week and people are still working to clean up the damage left behind. And let the games begin. We are sharing the stories of some of the strongest people in the world as they compete in this year's CrossFit Games. This is News 3 Now at 5. The search for a missing mother is over tonight. The Dane County Sheriff confirms both Krista and Bart Halderson are dead and another homicide charge is being recommended against their son. This has been a long and complex investigation for officers. Brady Mallory shares the timeline on this case. Well, the Haldersons were last seen a month ago at their home in Windsor. Their son Chandler reported them missing on July 7th, telling police his parents uh, never returned home from a trip up north. Well, then on July 10th, dismembered remains belonging to Bart were discovered in rural Dane County. Then two days later, Chandler was charged with first degree homicide in his father's death. Authorities remained hopeful that they would find Krista alive, but on July 14th, they found more human remains in the town of Roxbury. And just today, the sheriff says that those remains belong to Krista, and he plans to pursue a second homicide charge against Chandler. Naomi Coles was there today when the sheriff gave an update on the case. Naomi. Police have been searching a lot of places since this investigation started, and these new remains were found right on the Halderson property. That's new. All the remains found up until now were on land that was 20 or 30 minutes away from the home. These have not been identified, and the search continues. This has been a time-consuming and exhaustive investigation. Although significant progress has been made, this is still an ongoing and very active investigation. There's no other suspects at this time, and you're encouraged to call the sheriff's office with any information you might have. We still don't know much about a possible motive, but new court documents with the expected charges in Krista's death could possibly shed more light on what we know so far. Chandler has since been bound over for trial for the charges filed in his father's death. We've got our detailed day-by-day -day timeline online right now at Channel 3000. We also have stories about how this investigation has progressed, including what Chandler himself has said about it on the Channel 3000 News app. Survey crews with the National Weather Service are still studying areas damaged by this week's storms. One death has been linked to this severe weather outbreak. A man crashed into a fallen tree and down power line near Ripon. This video shows the damage from Ripon. A state of emergency remains in place tonight, too. It allows for the National Guard to help communities with cleanup efforts. So far, six tornadoes touched down in the state during Thursday morning storms. The majority of them have been confirmed here in southern Wisconsin. Johnson. This video shows some of the tornado damage in Jefferson County. It's been a busy week for men and women in yellow vests. Well, they're with the National Weather Service working to figure out just how many tornadoes ripped through southern Wisconsin. Today they're west of Madison and that's where we find Talil Mohadin outside a home that was hit hard. A lot of people in this neighborhood, technically in the town of Middleton, spent most of the day cleaning up the mess the storm left behind. Now, the man who lives in this house probably had the toughest job of all. This is what Mark Steinbarker's house looked like yesterday. Five large pine trees, 20 to 26 inches in diameter, fell onto his home while he and his family were inside. After we being woken up by tornado sirens, they were able to make it to the basement. We stood there for no more than a minute just kind of listening and kind of just, you know, hanging out. And all of a sudden, kaboom, and we dove underneath the staircase. We just kind of waited there. And It wasn't until the morning that Steinbacher was able to, to see the extent of the damage. The trees had damaged his roof. Still, he's grateful the storm didn't catch him asleep in their beds right below the worst of the damage. Now, we're still waiting to hear back the results of the National Weather Service survey. Steinbrecher says there's still a lot to figure out, but um, he's grateful and that they'll just figure it out all at some point. The East Coast is also dealing with widespread damage due to these storms. Take a look at this damage in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. This is about 45 minutes away from downtown Philadelphia. Businesses and homes were damaged. Trees were knocked down. Residents said it sounded like a bomb going off when the storm hit. No injuries were reported as a result of this storm. And look at this aerial video from Long Beach Island in New Jersey. It was just taken this morning. This shows some of the damage to a home located on the water. You can see trees uprooted and damaged 
damage to a boathouse. 12 tornado warnings sounded in the state overnight. Survey teams from the National Weather Service are looking at the damage today. Well, Gary, these storms really had an impact here and also out east. Yeah, it's, you know, sometimes you get these uh, these big intense squall lines that can move hundreds of miles and it'd be interesting to see whether or not they classify it as a derecho because it has to meet certain criteria for the, the length of, uh, of damage. But things have settled down here. We're dealing with cloud cover and a few showers south and west of Madison. But we're also dealing with wildfire smoke, which is drifting in from Minnesota. In fact, the uh, DNR has issued an air quality advisory through noon Sunday for the entire state of Wisconsin for particulate matter from some of that wildfire smoke that could uh, thicken up at times. Now, tomorrow, or tomorrow there's a possibility for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm late in the afternoon or evening as an area of thunderstorms moves through. Tonight, it's just a few light showers to our south and west, and some of this really isn't even reaching the ground, but expect the possibility for at least a few showers over southwestern Wisconsin. Temperatures, though, are much cooler because of the cloud cover. Here in Madison, we're at 72 degrees, only 66 right now in Mineral Point. By tomorrow morning, we'll be down into the upper 50s. The skies clear out overnight. Look for a high tomorrow of 80, but it'll be hazy with that wildfire smoke and a chance for late afternoon thunderstorms north of Madison. Later on, I'll tell you what we look at, at look what it looks like in the forecast for the rest of next week. Thank you, Gary. And we are getting a lot of photos still showing the damage here in southern Wisconsin. Viewers from Middleton, Verona, Delafield have all sent us images. We put together an online photo gallery of these images over on channel3000.com. And just a reminder for anyone who is dealing with property damage, you'll want to notify your insurance agent to start the claims process. Be sure to make a list of all the items damaged last night and then take photos. And when it comes to getting things repaired, well, be sure to keep all of your receipts. We also want you to stay up to date with severe weather in our area. Here's a quick way to get to our app. So just point your phone to that QR code and you can scan it right there. Or you can always find our app in your app store. It's easy to stay up to date during severe weather situations and to stay safe and informed with News 3. Dane County has hit a substantial level of community COVID transmission, according to the CDC. The CDC encourages communities with substantial or high levels of community transmission to go back to wearing masks in all public spaces. Dane County is strongly encouraging all residents to and older to do this, regardless of vaccination status. Rock County also issued similar recommendations today. At this point, neither county has issued a mask mandate. The news comes as Wisconsin and continues to see a sharp increase in cases due to the Delta variant and vaccination rates continue to level out with half of the state fully vaccinated. Here's where Dane County stands when it comes to vaccinations. More than 67% are fully vaccinated and there is growing evidence the Delta variant can still be caught and transmitted by fully vaccinated people even if they show little or no symptoms. Now, doctors say it's highly contagious which is why they are urging everyone to get vaccinated to help prevent deaths and hospitalizations linked to the variant. Strict rules are in place for anyone going to Lollapalooza in Chicago this weekend. The annual music festival started yesterday and it runs through the weekend. Around 100,000 people are expected to attend per day. Organizers are asking unvaccinated guests to remain masked while on the ground. COVID tests shown by unvaccinated attendees cannot be more than 72 hours old. So anyone with a four day pass that is not vaccinated has to get tested twice. There is a vaccination clinic set up just outside the festival for those finally ready to get that done. Congress is trying to extend the nation's eviction moratorium just hours before it's set to expire. Tomorrow is the final day the moratorium is in place. The Biden administration is asking lawmakers to extend it until the end of the year. Millions are at risk of an immediate eviction if no deal is reached. Meanwhile, a group of senators are optimistic the infrastructure bill they're working on will pass. They are finalizing the details of the $1 trillion deal. A vote in the Senate could come in a matter of days. All well, the money would help fix roads, bridges, and expand broadband options. Two people are in the hospital tonight after a construction site accident in Brooklyn. A brick wall collapsed and a roof caved down on them. This video shows firefighters trying to rescue them. Both were rushed to the hospital with serious injuries. Heading into today at the Olympics, the U.S. is leading the world with more than 40 medals so far. A swimmer, Ryan Murphy, has a silver and a bronze, but he's also generating some controversy after some comments after his latest race. He came in second behind Russia yesterday 
yesterday in the men's 200 meter backstroke. After the race, he suggested drugs may have been a factor in the meet. Uh, he didn't provide any specifics though, and later said it was not his intention to make allegations. But his comments come after Russia was kicked out in 2019 for doping. On well, Next at 5, it's Madison's version of the Olympics. We are live at this year's CrossFit Games. Meet one of the youngest competitors who just happens to be from southern Wisconsin. Next. Save on the best name brand mattresses with the A1 Instant Rebate with a huge selection in stock now. Your choice, 14-inch firm or plush queen mattress, just $4.99. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Save online or in-store with the A1 Instant Rebate. Shop the summer savings sale at Grand Appliance for the area's lowest prices. Plus an extra $200 back on top brands exclusively at Grand. Save on thousands of in-stock options like this Bosch Ultra Quiet Dishwasher for just $5.98 or this Samsung Front Load Washer for just $6.98. Shop online at GrandAppliance.com or at your local Grand showroom for these great deals and more. Grand Appliance, the appliance expert since 1930. Fry Construction is celebrating 26 years of providing excellence in home improvements. We strive to exceed the expectations of our clients with each and every project we do. Respected by your neighbors and voted Best of Madison two years in a row. Best kitchen and bath design. Best roofer. Experience the Best of Madison for yourself and save 26% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Get you, young man. Free installation. Coming right up. Feldco's biggest sale of the year. Free installation. Plus, no interest until 2023. Free installation on window siding and doors and Saturday. Call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Hey, it's me, your skin. Some cleansers get us clean, but take my moisture. CeraVe cleansers help me maintain my moisture balance with hyaluronic acid plus three essential ceramides to help restore my natural barrier. So we're CeraVe clean. CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Is your credit score getting in the way of things you want to do? Personal loans through NetCredit help you borrow up to $10,000. So check your eligibility on netcredit.com today without affecting your credit score. You may even be able to build your credit history as you repay. NetCredit, a more personal, personal loan. Save now on furniture with the A1 Instant Rebate with a huge selection of inventory available now. Your choice two-piece sofa and love seater sectional, just $9.99. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Save online or in-store with the A1 Instant Rebate. Tonight at 6, the Dane County Sheriff's Office says it has found the remains of Krista Halderson. And the National Weather Service continues to survey storm damage to determine how many tornadoes hit during Wednesday night's severe weather. Take it as far as it will lead me. Competing with other athletes from around the world close to home. See how a Wisconsin teen inspired by her mom makes her mark against the fittest on earth. Sunday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. Hundreds of people are hoping to be crowned the fittest on earth this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the CrossFit Games continue to draw large crowds to the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, and many fans are also showing up to cheer on their favorite athletes. And our Susan Simon is at the Games with the story of one of the younger competitors. Hey, Susan. That's right. Hi, guys. More than 600 athletes from all over the world are here in Madison this week to compete in the CrossFit Games. They range in age from 14, that's the youngest, to one of the oldest competitors at 71. And he's got abs. <laughs> but one of the youngest is actually from our area. Meet 15-year-old Riley Wilkie. The Portage native put her skills to the test against other teens here at the Alliance Center. CrossFit officials say Wilkie was one of two Wisconsin athletes participating in this year's games. She says she got her inspiration to compete from her mother. I saw my mom doing it and I was like, that's super cool and I wanted to get involved, but my gym wouldn't let me start until I was like 14. So I was just dying to get started and I started and I pretty much just fell in love with it. 
She did an amazing job. She gave it her best shot this week. Her competition is over, and unfortunately, she didn't place, but she says it was an amazing experience. We're hearing that from a lot of athletes, that it changes their lives. Coming up on Sunday night on News 3 Now at 10, you won't want to miss this. You'll hear from Riley's mom and her coach, and we'll talk more about her drive to compete at such a young age. Our Josh Spreider will share that story Sunday night on News 3 Now at 10. And coming up later on News 3 Now at 6, tonight we'll have more from the CrossFit Games here at the Alliant Energy Center. So good to have them back after a two-year hiatus. Yeah, Susan, she's so unbelievably motivated, too. I can, can't yes. even get motivated to do a plank, you know? <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Awesome. Thank you, Susan. Well, the Dane County Sheriff's Office is expecting about 20,000 people to watch the games each day. Whew, that's busy. The map shows you some of the places to park near the Alliant Energy Center, and there are about 6,000 parking stalls available on site. There are other fitness events taking place in Madison off CrossFit grounds this weekend. Reebok has free classes at Brittingham Boats. Local athletes like Peter Kraus and Pat Gillis will be leading classes. Classes run from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And tickets are still available for the games. Hey, kids 12 and under, you're free. We have a link to buy day passes and other event information on channel3000.com. All you have to do is click on the CrossFit tab. CBS Sports will air the finals on WISC-TV on Sunday from 1 to 3. We'll also have a recap of the game Sunday night on News 3 now at 10. Well, let's get a look at your certified most accurate weather. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti has your forecast. Hey, Gary. Hi, Brady. Well, uh, one thing we're going to have to deal with this weekend is uh, wildfire smoke from wildfires out in Canada and the western part of the country. Some of that smoke continues to filter in the Midwest. The Department of Natural Resources has issued an air quality advisory for the entire state of Wisconsin through noon on Sunday. Uh, advisories are in effect for the entire state of Minnesota into Tuesday in uh, parts of Iowa also under the advisory. Right now, you're seeing visibilities dropping across Minnesota, and a lot of that is from wildfire smoke, and that may continue to spread to the south and east into uh, much of Wisconsin over the next day or so. Three things you need to know. We've got that hazy uh, wildfire smoke to deal with at least through Sunday morning, if not longer. There will be a warm day tomorrow with a high temperature of around 80 with the sunshine returning, but that could lead to a chance for an afternoon or evening shower or thunderstorm. And then after that, look for dry weather to return for most, if not all, of next week and into the following weekend. So another prolonged period of dry weather. Some light showers moving through southwestern Wisconsin. Not all of this reaching the ground, uh, at least according to uh, surface reports, but there are some thunderstorms. Some of this uh, activity will become severe over parts of western Iowa, but notice the southeastern movement that we're not looking for any severe weather around here today. Now tomorrow, there is an outside chance for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm as a uh, cold front drops southward through the state and triggers a few widely scattered thunderstorms. Gusty winds and hail would be the main threat. But this is going to be one of those situations where a lot of people may not even see any rain at all. And once that rain ends tomorrow night, we're pretty much dry through most of next week. Computer model forecast into Monday of the following week. So 10 days down the road showing less than a tenth of an inch of rain for much of the state of Wisconsin. And of course, the, the drought monitor, we're under a moderate drought for much of southern Wisconsin, and that's just not going to improve. Right now, temperatures are cooled down because of the cloud cover into the 60s and 70s here. But notice just to the southwest, temperatures in the upper 90s over much of Kansas. And dew point temperatures there are well into the 70s. So there's a lot of moisture to our south and west. But for the time being, that will keep the storms to our south and west because right now they're going to be traveling along the jet stream, heading to the southeast and mainly bypassing southern Wisconsin. Now, a second front up to the north will start to trigger a couple of showers and thunderstorms. This is the front I'm talking about up here. That'll be in, but notice there's very little moisture along it, nothing happening right now. All the activity will be in the vicinity of this stationary front that divides the uh, hot and humid air to the south to the cooler and uh, cloudy skies to the north, where temperatures are mainly in the 60s and lower 70s. Notice it's warmer in the northern part of the state where there's a little more sunshine. But on future track, you can see that activity again staying to our south and to our west. Around here, look for a few showers and thunderstorms to pop up late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and then after that, we clear out and boy, we're dealing with the uh, dry weather again for much of next week. Again, that air quality advisory in effect until noon Sunday for the entire state of Wisconsin. Look for a high tomorrow of 80 degrees. There could be a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm late in the afternoon north of Madison and another chance uh, tomorrow evening. But again, on future track, 
back. This starts at uh, uh, right now at 5 p.m. Notice the showers moving on out will be dry from much of the overnight hours through much of the day tomorrow. And then just a few widely scattered showers and thunderstorms moving on through tomorrow evening. And then we're back to sunshine on Sunday. And you can see the very spotty nature of the precipitation. Most areas that even get rain probably seeing less than a quarter of an inch of rain. As we look at the, uh, well, let's, we'll go to the first warrant traffic here. Let's see if we can go back here to, uh, well, uh, for some reason our computer wanted to jump ahead here. So uh, here's the 7 to 10 day forecast. There we go. Showing <coughs> the dry weather pretty much for all of next week. Maybe a little more humidity toward the end of next week, uh, giving a chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Most of the time it'll be dry though. Now we'll take a look at first warrant traffic. And on the Beltline, we're seeing some issues uh, right around uh, Old Sock Road. Uh, some problems there. Uh, looks like some of this may have cleared up. We're not seeing much of the travel travel problems there. But westbound on the Beltline, uh, we're seeing some issues uh, near Verona Road. So right now on the eastbound Beltline, it's a 32 or westbound Beltline, a 32 minute trip from the interstate to University Avenue, 16 minutes back in the eastbound direction. Heading out of Madison, the usual 25 minutes down to Janesville from the Beltline on I-3990. Uh, westbound on the uh, US-12 from Middleton to Sauk City, 16 minute trip. And from downtown to Sun Prairie, also 16 minutes. That's your news for now, first warrant traffic. Gary, thank you. It is all or nothing when it comes to laws dealing with phones and cars. Still to come here at five, what research shows about states with strict rules that could prevent your family from the tragedy one father is speaking about tonight. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. These days, we're spending more time than ever before at home, where we're continually inspired to make it our own, where the perfect wall mounting can lift your spirits, and that once hidden path to your door is now illuminated with intrigue to lead you inside. With Patriot Lighting, your lighting is another way to put your personal style on display. Smart, sophisticated, radiant, just like you. We have hundreds of options to make your home and your world shine a little brighter. Find your style with Patriot Lighting, only at Menards. Let's say your car needs a new part, like an alternator. You could get just the one part at the typical auto parts store. Or for the same money at rockauto.com, get the alternator plus the belt and tensioner kit you'll need to do the repair right and have money left over to buy lunch. Since 1999, rockauto.com has provided reliably low prices, easy to use website, huge selection of parts, and fast shipping. All the parts your car will ever need, Rock Auto. Looks like it's time to trade, because it's trade month at your local Ford dealers. Get more cash for your eligible trade-in, any brand, any model, all month long. Get trade assist cash on top of what your eligible vehicle is worth and trade up to a new Ford SUV. Your trade-in is worth more than you think, only during trade month. Right now, get up to 2,000 trade assist bonus cash on eligible models. It's trade month at your Wisconsin and UP Ford dealers. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. Right now, get up to $1,200 off any 5G phone. The choice is yours. Whether it's adapting the network for a strong signal where you work, or optimizing your coverage where you play, we're always hard at work to make sure our state-of-the-art 5G network works for you. Up to $1,200 off any 5G phone with no trade-in or hidden fees. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. If you can afford to launch yourself into space, you can pay your fair share in taxes. But billionaires and big corporations have avoided paying taxes for years. President Joe Biden's plan makes the rich pay their fair share so we can cut taxes for families with children and create millions of good jobs. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to stop putting billionaires ahead of the middle class. If you can afford to joyride in space, you can pay your fair share. At J.P. Morgan, the only definition of wealth that matters is yours. It can be a smaller house, but a bigger nest egg, a goal to work toward, or the freedom to walk away. With 200 years of experience, personalized advice, and commission-free trades on an award-winning app, we're working for you. Planning, investing, advice. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. You're watching News 3 Now at 5. 
Many states, including Wisconsin, have laws about cell phone use while driving, but new research finds more needs to be done to stop distracted driving. Michael George shares how this study could help teenage drivers. New York State police officers said goodbye to one of their own in April. Trooper Joseph Gallagher was putting flares on the side of the road when a car hit him. Investigators say the driver was texting at the time. Joel Feldman knows the pain of that loss. His daughter Casey was killed by a distracted driver in 2009. The world is certainly not so well off after, after her death. Uh, she would have made a big, big difference. Most states have some kind of ban against texting or calling while driving. But 21 states have gone a step further, enacting laws against all handheld cell phone use, including calling, texting, and using apps. These comprehensive laws, are they working? Yes, they are working. Dr. Motau Ju with Nationwide Children's Hospital is lead author of a new study that found comprehensive hands-free laws prevent about 140 driver deaths and nearly 14,000 driver injuries each year. But laws that only ban texting or calling aren't nearly as effective. Researchers recommend all states adopt rules that prevent drivers from handling phones, especially teenagers. They have the highest crash risk, so they shouldn't use any cell phone at all while driving. I don't accept that people won't give up phones. What I say is we haven't reached them the right way. Feldman now speaks to drivers of all ages and even young children about the dangers of being distracted behind the wheel. We're teaching little kids how to speak up. Mommy, Daddy, I love you. But I don't feel safe when you look at your phone while driving me. Feldman says laws are helpful, but it's up to individuals to prioritize safety and put down the phone. Michael George, CBS News, New York. In Wisconsin, texting and driving is illegal for all drivers, and handheld devices use, device use is banned when driving through a construction zone. Our weather team is monitoring a chance for minor storms tomorrow. We've got another check on your first worn forecast when we return. This is your last chance to score Black Friday deals in July at Ashley Home Store. Find doorbusters at Black Friday discounts of up to 60% off, plus no interest for five years. Pay less than $20 a month for a new room you'll love. Must end Tuesday, only at Ashley Home Store. Don't you wish you could wave a magic wand and have whiter teeth? Well, you can, but it's not magic. It's power swaps. Just swab your teeth for five minutes and boom, whiter teeth and a better smile. And since you're not dealing with messy trays or awkward strips, you're less vulnerable to the harsh sensitivity they sometimes create. I've used strips. They seem to really hurt my teeth. The power swabs, it just seemed very gentle. It's so simple and easy. You just open it, you apply it to your teeth, you forget it's there. And I notice that they're white and bright again like they were before. I I noticed actually a difference the first time that I used power swabs. You put on the first coat and then the activator goes on and immediately you start seeing it working. It only takes five minute applications to get a brighter, whiter smile with power swabs. You just snap, swab and smile. Power swabs have been clinically studied to whiten natural teeth and remove stains from caps, crowns and veneers. It's so powerful, it removes stains from coffee, tea, red wine and even smoking. I love my coffee in the morning. I will never stop drinking coffee. I will not be the person drinking hot coffee with a straw. As much coffee as I drink, I can use my power swabs and eliminate the staining. When I used the power swabs, I applied it directly to my front tooth where the coffee stain was. I like being able to individually get the teeth, and most importantly, it got kind of in between the grooves. You can put it directly on the stain that you see on your teeth, and it's so precise. But as powerful as it is, it's also gentle and causes zero to minimal sensitivity. It just didn't sting, it didn't burn, it didn't have an aftertaste. It was just a swab and I just got to rub it around my teeth and that was it. Take it for me as someone who has gone the dental route but has also gone on the shelf route and I've not really seen anything work as effective and as easy as power swabs. Whiten your teeth today by ordering power swabs and receive 40% off the regular price. Shipping is free plus you receive a free quick stick pen to use on the go after meals or a cup of coffee. Visit powerswabs.com or call the number on your screen. Why O-Cedar? Because when I get home, we like to play crocodile on the floor. O-Cedar Easy Ring removes over 99% of bacteria, even with just water. Easy and truly clean floors. O-Cedar, it feels great to feel at home. Reynolds Wrap makes it easy to cook and clean up meals in no time. So I don't miss all the 
of fun stuff. Easy Prep Cook and Clean with Reynolds Rep. Black Friday in July mattress deals must end Tuesday at Ashley Home Store. Save up to 60% off the best brands. Plus, pay as little as $20 a month for luxury mattresses through Tuesday only at Ashley Home Store. Feels good to be home. On this Friday night, the Delta threat will answer your questions about the alarming new data from the CDC and the growing list of companies now mandating vaccines. Plus, 80 million Americans swelter in dangerous heat from the Central Plains to the Carolina coast. Where are the storms headed next? And we go on the road. CBS's Steve Hartman has an update on the story of a devoted son who's fulfilled his mother's dying wish. The CBS Evening News is now just minutes away. An Indiana farmer is living an NFL fan's dream. Craig Woods Farm has been nicknamed the unofficial backyard of the Indianapolis Colts. Every year he can watch the team from his home. And get this, the area where the team practices used to be his crop field. This ground used to raise crops and, and uh, of grain and now we're raising crops of kids. Being able to have this in our backyard is just like, wow. Colts fans have to keep a distance if they attend one of these training camp sessions. A similar COVID protocol is in place in Green Bay, too, for the Packers. Well, Gary, if we could only get the Cubs to practice in your yard. Well, you know, I was just thinking, you know, build something, like you build some stands out there. It's like Field of Dreams. Yeah, yeah. and they will come. Yeah, yes. They will come. Mm -hmm. Well, tonight we're dealing with some wildfire smoke, and tomorrow we may have the possibility for an isolated, strong, to severe thunderstorm. I'm not looking for anything widespread. Uh, many of us may not even see any rain altogether, but any storms that do develop could bring gusty winds and some hail. Severe so weather threat tonight is going to be well to the west into Iowa, but a few showers are reaching southwestern Wisconsin, uh, mainly south and west of uh, Dane County. But an air quality advisory is in effect till noon Sunday for that wildfire smoke. All right, thanks, Gary. You're welcome. We will see you again at six o'clock. Have a great evening.